Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Praise the Lord, my dear viewer again. Yesterday we were talking about how the wise people prepare well for their goals. We were talking about the wise uh, virgins who took extra oil with them as they waited for the bridegroom. In contrast to that, we had the foolish uh, virgins who did not carry along with them extra oil. And today, we want to look at the aspect of, uh, uh, of looking at the old picture while we prepare to achieve our goals. Yesterday, we realized that all the wise and the foolish had goals in their lives. They all had one goal that was to meet with the bridegroom. But however, their preparations were different. The wise ones prepared so well, but the foolish ones only waited for the bridegroom to appear, but they did not make necessary preparations. While making necessary preparations, there are things that are important for us to consider. The first important thing we have to consider is looking at the old picture while we're doing a preparation. In this case, for example, uh, the, the virgins, all of them were waiting for the bridegroom to arrive. And uh, the wise uh, virgins had to look at the old scenario, had to look at the nitty gritties for them to be able to wait and be successful in the venture. That is a key thing when doing preparation. You don't only make preparations for a, based on a vacuum. You have to make necessary preparation when you are looking at your entire goal. That is a key uh, component of wisdom. And the wisdom that comes from above teaches us that we've got to look at the old scenario. We've got to look at the old picture while we are making the necessary preparations even to achieve our goals. It is my prayer today that as you're going out into the day, that the Lord God Almighty will give you the grace to make necessary preparations. Life demands that we've got to actually look into the old issues of life. Suppose, for example, you have a business in mind, you have a, you have a goal, uh, maybe let's say you want to, uh, to do a business, you want to go to school, you want to marry, you want to uh, have a good health, all those things are good goals. But I want to suggest to us that you don't only achieve your goals in a vacuum, you have to sit down, you have to look into the old picture, what it takes, what is necessary, what is required for you to achieve your goal. Jesus at one point talked about the same. He, was, he talked about a, bar, a parable of a man who wanted to build a house. And Jesus said, if a man wants to build a house, he has to sit down, he has to look uh, through the cost that is required for him to begin building a house. And after you've looked into the old picture, into the old project, then Jesus said, you have to now sit down, count the cost and see if you have what it takes to do that particular project. In this case, we are actually supposed to look into the old picture of the project and after that, we now begin to do and to, uh, and to work on our goal. That is a very important part of planning. We look into the all and then after that, we now begin to write it down and put it down the things which are necessary for us to achieve our goal. So the wise will always look at the old picture of the project or at the old program or at the old uh, aspect of the goal before embarking on beginning to work on it. It is my prayer today that indeed God will give you the wisdom to be able to look at the old journey before beginning the journey. That is so important when it comes to our faith. When we gave our lives to Christ, we had a goal, and our goal is to be with him in all eternity. Our brothers, my brother and my sister, let me encourage you today that such a goal must begin from you counting the cost. Let's pray together. 
Our Heavenly Father, I pray for my dear viewer today, the Lord, as they set their goals in life, as they set their earthly goals and their heavenly goals, that they will be able to look through and to think through what it will all take for, for, for us to achieve these goals. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will give us the grace to, and the courage even to tackle issues which at times are not so good or encouraging. I pray for the grace to look into the old picture. Open our eyes, O oh God, so that we may know that it may take uh, much more than that which we are prepared for. May you bless us, Lord, for I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.